Have you ever created a color palette in Photoshop or Illustrator that you want to use in your videos? So you created a library, but once you open up Premiere, something was off and the colors weren't accurate? I'm going to show you a way to fix that. Five, four, three, two, so you created a library, added colors, now when you have Premiere open, something's not right. The icons are dimmed and the colors are not the same colors that you picked in either Photoshop or Illustrator. You can't figure out what's going on. I found out Premiere does not recognize colors in the CC libraries, but what it does recognize is graphics. So let's go to the computer screen and I can show you how to get around this issue. All right, here we are in Photoshop and I wanted to show you what I meant when the colors didn't come up right in Premiere Pro. I already made a library, so let's add some colors. So I'm gonna get my eyedropper tool. I'm gonna select my yellow here, which now turns foreground color to that color. And I'm going to add it into my library. Now, as you can see here, it's a color and you can actually see the hex number down here. Now, if we go over to Premiere, in Premiere, you can obviously see that the color looks different. It's The icon is dark. The number is the same, but when we try to use that color, it just doesn't come out right. Okay, so let's just add some text to this sequence we have down here. Make that bigger so we can see. I'm not going to really change the font. But now we want to change the color. Going to open up the Essential Graphics window. Double click on that, grab the eyedropper tool, and select that color. Right off the bat, you can see it's a completely different color. If you look down here, this number is different from what we had before. Before, it was FFFF00. -F 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 now we have 555522. Back in Photoshop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a shape. And that, since my foreground is already the color that we're using, it's that color. Now, I'm going to select that again. And add that as a graphic. So now we have a color and a rectangle graphic. Let's go back over to Premiere and see what happens. Alright. Now, now we have the graphic and our color. Now let's see what happens when we choose the eyedropper tool and pick that color and select OK. And now we have the same color we used in Photoshop. We can make another shape. Open up the color picker and choose this purple. Select OK. Add that as a graphic. Now we can change that to the purple if you wanted to. It's that simple. That's one way to get around Premiere not using colors, but using the graphics technique to create a color palette for you to use in Premiere. And there you go, a way to use colors in Adobe Premiere. If you have any questions, comments, or anything that you want me to cover in a future video, just leave them down below. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And also you can check out my other social media profiles. Thank you, and have a good day.